Hey everybody, anyone is here back on the random acts of crafting server and today my plan was to finish the slime farm and I am going to do that but I found the major flaw in my design and the problem is even standing in my um, storage room from standing at the block right before this drop to the end block back there is about 96 spots. And um, that's that's pretty far away, and it makes it hard for the slimes to spawn down here. Um, what I would want in a perfect world to do is I would want this first block to be about 24 blocks away from me um, because mobs aren't going to spawn within 24 blocks, and the furthest block to be as close to me as possible. Um, pretty much what happens is a, a mob won't spawn within 24 blocks of you. Uh, well, I think it's 23 blocks, and it'll spawn on the 24th block. And then after 32 blocks, uh, it will not move when it spawns and randomly uh, despawn. So the idea is if I can get this to be the 24th block, um, anybody who's, I think about up to here, will be moving, and they'll walk right off. And everyone else will have a couple seconds before they walk off. But the closer I get, uh, the more they'll move. So, my idea is I am going to move this up. Now, I guess um, spawning mechanics, I haven't made a spawn for a slime farm since about uh, 1.73 or 1 1.8 or something like that. And uh, slime spawned a lot more regularly. And it looks like their spawning rate has changed a bit. So, my idea is um, I'm going to make this the premium place to be hanging out for uh, the slime farm. So, that means I am on level, what am I on? Level 53 right here. And spawn, uh, slime spawn at about level 40. So what I'm going to do is make my spawning pad at level 40, which would be, I guess, right here at my eyes, would be level 40. If I do that, uh, the first block of the spawning pad should be uh, exactly 24. Actually, I did the math, and it looks like it would be exactly 24 blocks away. That means I could stay here and I can idle. Um, that also means I can make a little room a little further in if I wanted to um, that I could idle in. That would give me a better range on that whole slime farm. But even standing right here, I should have a good portion of at least a first spawning ma uh, pad within that 32, uh, 24 to 32 um, block uh, boundary, I guess. And then I think the furthest block is something like 60-something. I did the math before, and I don't remember what it is. So I am going to make that again. I am not going to make you guys sit there and watch me do a whole nother slime farm. But once I finish digging it out, I'll come back to you guys. I did some testing in my creative world and exactly how I am going to um, route them around in the uh, water channels. And also how I will... Um, uh, kill them and get the um, spawn eggs, uh, the slime balls to me. So I won't, I won't talk about now until I am actually ready to do that. But once I am, I'll explain what I'm going to do. And that um, the, what we built down there is not going to be a total waste. Um, I have an idea of what I want to do with it. And um, I won't talk about it now. I hope to get to it this episode or at least start it. But if I don't, um, we could start it next episode and I'll explain exactly what my thoughts are with that. So next time you see me, I should have a, a new slime uh, spawning location set up right about here. So uh, see you guys in a few minutes and we could move on to the automating the slime farm. Okay, I am back for a quick update, and as you can see, I am at level Y39, and from my testing, and I did a bunch of testing, Y39 is the highest possible level you could spawn slimes, and basically, large slimes need a 3x3x3 three by three by three room, uh, smallest sl slimes need, I believe it's a 3x3x2 three by three by room, and um, the lo smallest ones, I think, is one by one by two. The, the, the middle slimes might be two by two by three, something to that effect. Anyways, so I need three up. Um, and what I wasn't sure about is if slimes spawn anywhere from uh, under 40, I wasn't sure if that meant the first air block where my feet is has to be below 40 or all three blocks of space need to be under 40. So I did a bunch of testing in my creative world and I was able to find that as long as your feet are on 39, 
uh, the slimes can spawn, and I have been getting spawn uh, slime spawns down here, so it is definitely. Oh, sorry about that. It is definitely working. Um, I had to go back here. There is the um, a mine shaft, so I had to go here and light it up a bit. Um, before I actually worked on this, there's another mine shaft back here, as you can see, and I spent about three hours in there last night just. Um, uh, lighting it up, getting resources, yada, yada, yada. So that's all lit up over there. I think I have most of it lit up over there. There was a ravine I haven't done, but hopefully that's far enough away. Um, as you can see, I actually made a channel through here. And now I know that is reducing a few, uh, but well, quite a few places that uh, slimes can spawn. My idea about it is if I have water running through here, that will give me a better chance of anybody who's spawning on this side to walk into the water. Because again, when a mob is more than 32 spaces away from you, he freezes a second or two after spawning. So hopefully having this here will get these guys quicker and get these guys quicker. Uh, the next thing I need to do here is I am going to replace this whole floor with ice. Um, I did some testing in creative and ice really makes... Um, slimes sp uh, slide quicker down with water. So my idea is the quicker I can get slimes over here and killed, the quicker more slimes will spawn. And the quicker I can get them into the radius that they don't despawn. So that is the plan, but obviously I'm going to need about, I think it's about six stacks of ice, which I don't have nearly that much. And I can go around and just look for ice, but I don't think that's going to work well. So um, I seen a video from Etho where he made a little ice tray. So I'm probably going to make something similar to that uh, right over there in the uh, taiga biome I have. Um, and I'll be able to harvest all the ice I need. So I'm going to get that set up. I won't go too deep into um, how to build the thing. Uh, it's, it's fairly obvious, and like I said, this is a design of Ethos, so it's not even my design. Uh, but if I remember and if I can find the link, I'll try to link it in the description to his video with it. Anyways, uh, let me get everything prepped up, and I will see you in the taiga biome momentarily. Okay, I'm all prepped up, and I went and enchanted some other stuff. I was hoping to get another Silk Touch shovel, but I didn't. But this isn't a bad shovel. I also enchanted another Diamond Pickaxe, hopefully getting Silk Touch, but no, I didn't. So what I'm going to need to do here is clear out an area. I'm going to use this area right here. Uh, you can see the pyramids right there. Uh, for no other reason than it's right here. So I think I'm going to try to make it 20 by 20 um with the little spots that pop up to make the ice gr uh, freeze quicker which i'll show you when i have it built uh, that should yield me maybe five stacks of ice something like that so the first thing i got to do is clear out this area so i'm going to take out all these trees level this out uh, then i need to make some snow to put on the ground um, and then I should be able to um, start setting everything up and wiring it. So I will give you an update when I make a little bit of progress. Okay, I am back, and as you can see, I have most of the ice tray built. Uh, the reason why I stopped over here is I made it too large, and I kind of ran out of redstone, so I couldn't finish this up. Uh, it's not the nicest looking. I still have a lot of work to do on it, but with all the time I spent um, redoing that slime farm, um, researching how the best way to make the slime farm, making this, remaking it about four times because creepers kept coming out of the woods. That's why I have this fence around now. Um, it's way, taking me way too long already, so I'm just going to harvest the rest of this ice. I've picked up almost five stacks of ice already, so this should put me over the top. So I'm just going to harvest this, and then we'll finish up on the slime farm. Just to show you how this works, uh, if you come down here. Now, I don't have the button set up, so it pulses the water twice, but um, when you hit the switch, activates all the pistons down here. As you can see, it used a lot of redstone. Um, and as you can see right here... 
those ice trays go up and down. The reason for those ice trays is ice, uh, those uh, bars or whatever you want to call them, rails, is because ice freezes quicker when it's next to a block. So I'm throwing in these rails, when they're up, they're always next to a block. But the reason they can't always be up is if they were up and I let out the water like this, it wouldn't completely fill this thing. So I have this switch here. Um, basically, the way the button's supposed to work is you press the button, it um, clicks the uh, dispensers once, um, and I think a button's about 9 or 10 ticks, something like that. And then right after it turns them on and off, it turns them on and off again to suck back up the water. And you wind up with a completely full thing of water. So let me harvest this and then I'll show you it working. To me, like a sap to a tree, it's in me. The rap happens to set me free instantly when the mic touch this MC. Without the mic, this MC feel empty. I'm telling y'all, it's the lyrical recipe, lyrical ecstasy. Hear it no less from me. I accept and expect no less than the best and inject intellect without disrespect. Come on, hey, be cool, just move with the crew. No fucking here to be way too Okay, I'm back. I harvested all the ice. One thing I did want to point out before I left here is um, dirt is probably the worst block to use uh, for this because when you're breaking the ice, you very easily break the dirt. The reason why I'm using dirt right now is because it's easier to build with, and right now I have a shovel. Um, so normally what you would probably use is like snow or something, something an efficiency, axe, uh, efficiency pickaxe can't break. But since I have a shovel, if I use snow, it would break right through. Um, I think the only uh, tool that I would be able to use that wouldn't um, break, the only block I'd be able to use that wouldn't break with an efficient, efficiency shovel and efficiency pickaxe, I believe is wool. So I'm going to have to do some testing on that, but since I don't have a pickaxe, I just left it as is. As I said, this is just a quick and dirty way of doing this just to get it up and running. So let's uh, push the button and I will show you it filling up. There you go. So now we have a completely full uh, ice tray. Flip the switch up. And this will uh, freeze up and I'll be able to get another uh, stack. But I don't think I need to because I just picked up another three and a quarter stacks. With my about five stacks at the house already, that should be plenty. of uh, That should be plenty. So I am going to go check it out. Uh, we'll go down there and we'll start adding the ice pathways into the slime farm. Mind you, this slime farm is going to be very necessary now because each one of these is a sticky piston, which works out to about, I believe it was 90 sticky pistons. I think it was 90, something like that. And I used up all the slime balls I had. I think I have like one or two left at the house. So let's get over there and get those canals running and hopefully we can start harvesting slime balls. Okay, we are back down here, and last time I was here, there were just a ton of slimes. I have three trapped right now, but it looks like they more pretty much uh, despawned, which is one of the new behaviors of spawns back in the 1.73, 1. Uh, I don't know if it was changed in 1.8, but definitely in the 1.73 days, uh, spawns wouldn't despawn, slimes wouldn't despawn, and that was actually pretty annoying, really, because you would have a, um, you would have a, a slime farm like this. And then um, you would wind up with so many slimes in here that it would affect the spawn rate everywhere else in your world. So I guess that's kind of nice that it was fixed, but uh, yeah, so you didn't get to see. But when I was down here before, I found a lot of slime, so we're good to go there. Okay, so the plan is I am going to fill these blocks all with ice and then water. And then randomly here, I am going to have a, I think from here... A lava blade sticking out and what that's going to do is it's going to make the big slimes break down into medium slimes and then they're all going to get channeled back here i'm not exactly sure where i'm going to have my uh, drop point but they're all going to travel down here maybe some like right here um then travel through here there will be another set of lava blades here to hopefully break the medium ones into small ones and break as many 
<clears throat> excuse me, break as many of the small ones as possible um, into slime balls. Now, from all my testing, there's no surefire well, other ways. So there's no surefire way of breaking the slimes with uh, lava, the mini slimes. But uh, what I was playing around with is if I just drop the slimes in the end um, into water, they will drown. And that's probably the most efficient way that I could find. Ooh. Yeah, I forgot about that. That's probably the most efficient way I could find to uh, kill the small slimes. So that that is what I'm probably going to do. But first things first, I have to get this in here. Now, as I was saying before, I used up all my redstone on that ice tray. Um, it actually turned out to be a, a lot bigger of a job than I thought it was. Uh, to be honest, I'm on my second day recording this episode, and that's with um, being on pretty much all night last night. But it's fine. It's fun. I'm going to get this done. Like I said, I'm not going to get the redstone portion of this done today, uh, but it'll be good enough that you could just go down there and just hack away at some slimes. Um, for now, that will be pretty much enough. Reason being is I'm just getting tired of this project and I want to move on, but I want to get the slime balls. And I want to move on to what I am going to make my next project, uh, which I'm not going to talk about that yet. Ooh. Oh, stupid me. Uh, I won't talk about that yet until we get down there, but um, it's going to be a very helpful project. Um, another thing I wanted to talk about is um, I was talking the other day about changes yesterday day before whatever last episode i was talking about changes that they were making to minecraft some i liked some i didn't um some features the uh, jury's still out but uh the new pre-release came out let's just make more room for ice uh i hope i have enough ice yeah this is the longest portions um the new pre-release came out and one of the new things in the pre-release is that mob spawners, you know, the, like you find in a dungeon or whatever, have a specific rate of XP per um, minute or 15 minutes or whatever, meaning that if you just sit there and grind at a XP farm, at a uh, spawner, you'll, oops, didn't mean to do that, you'll wind up with just a, uh, a limited amount of XP. So you can't just sit there forever. Um, now, the way it's set up right now is uh, hopefully, well, as far as Dinnerbone says, not the way, it's, it, it's going to be tweaked a bit. So right now, you could probably sit in front of a single XP spawner for, I don't know, hour and a half, two hours, and uh, you might you might just, might just get enough XP for 30 levels. Now, he said that this isn't the right way, uh, way and um, he will fix it. Um, he will change it and tweak it, but I mean, he is pretty much convinced that he is not going to make it like it was, where you could just sit at an XP spawner all day and, whoa, how am I getting so much lag? Uh, sit at an XP spawner all day and just get um, XP. And the reason for that is, since in the 1.3 update, there's so many other ways to get XP, he feels that he wanted to balance XP uh, grinders. Now, when I first heard about this, I was a little upset. One of my favorite things to build, as you can see, is farms. And one of the best ways to build a farm is with a mob spawner. So that's going away. But he promised that this is not a way of um, penalizing people who make mob spawners. He's not trying to break mob spawners. He's just trying to make them a little more fair. So with that said, I would like to complain and talk and say how much I hate it, but... Because this is just a pre-release, because we have a lot more time before the full version comes out, I am going to save my opinion on that. Um, he promised that it will definitely be quicker still than it was in uh, 1.25 and before. Uh, right now, it's probably on par with that, maybe even a little slower. But he said it definitely, definitely will be quicker. So, I guess we will just have to wait and see what it comes out with. A lot of people are going crazy and screaming and blah, 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 blah. Like I said, if he's telling me it's not tweaked all the way, if he's saying that it's going to be better, then I will allow, uh, I'll wait. I think he mentioned something in Reddit. It would be 15 levels every 15 minutes or 15 levels every 30 minutes. Um, if that's the case, I don't think I'm too, uh, uh, I guess that was a torch. I don't think that I'm too worried about that. I mean, I 
I kind of agree that it is too easy to get levels right now. I mean, I could sit at our Skelly Spawner for a couple hours and just pretty much um, uh, chant everything. So that kind of defeats the purpose of chanting if you could just do it so easily. So I will not comment on that. I will not say how I feel about it until we get closer to the release date. Then, if it becomes uh, bad, then you'll hear me screaming, and I'm sure everyone will be screaming. One of the biggest problems I have with it is one of the biggest, one, the most fun I have in this game is gr uh, creating mob spawners, grinders. Um, it's, it's a lot of fun, and if you take that away, you're going to take a huge part of the game out for a lot of people. Not only that, but a lot of um, YouTubers, I mean, that's their go-to episode to, to make a uh, grinder out of a spawner. And if you take that away, that's going to take out a lot of um, the ability to um, make interesting episodes and discoveries and all that stuff. So we will see what happens, and I will see you guys back when I have this whole floor and ice. Let's just do what we can to do, just vibe, yeah, vibe, yeah, vibe, yeah, yeah, vibe, yeah, yeah, vibe, yeah, 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 be cool, just move with the cool, no, fuck, you here to be great, too, yeah, so yeah, yeah. let's just do what we can to do, just vibe with it, yeah, vibe, yeah, yeah, vibe, yeah, yeah, vibe, it's like an epidemic, yeah. pop star gimmick, yeah. hit it, get it, then realize that you in it, and you're finished, whole finish. dream diminished, uh. see, I play the season, y'all have a scrimmage, I spit with reason, y'all hip to image, but I believe the dream has Is it is no it? visit? Hip hop here to stay. No shit. We yeah. gonna get it. New and groove music. Move and groove with it. Choose who you get with. I smack rap back like it's too hard. My flow hard like dick. Get the skimpy clothes on individuals when anything goes. I play a pick 'em like any, 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 any. Got soul, got so much funk up in the rap. I should pack the fat bowl. Y'all should kick back, relax, and just roll, yeah. roll with me. Roll with me, vibe with me, roll with me, come on and vibe with me. Hip hop ain't dead, just keep it alive with me. Hey, cool, be cool, just move with the crew. No funk in here, the beat way too sweet. Too sweet. Let's just do what we came to do, just vibe. Let's just do what we came to do, just vibe with it. Vibe, vibe with it. Vibe, vibe with it. Cool, be cool, just move with the crew. No funk in here, the beat way too sweet. Too sweet. Let's just do what we came to do, just vibe with it. Vibe with it. Okay, so ice is all the way around. Um, I took out all the lighting to make sure none of the ice actually uh, melts because I was having that problem. A lot of ice was melting. So now we have to work on the water streams, which really is going to be a huge pain in the ass. I picked up uh, almost three stacks of signs, and I don't think this is even going to be enough. So we're going to have to play around with it. But for now, let's see. Put a sign there, a sign there, and a sign there. Um... Let's see if I'm doing this right. Let me think about this for a second. Water, water. So I want to put water here, water here. I need one more bucket. I need one more bucket because if I use three buckets, I'll be able to continuously keep filling up off of what I set up. So let's grab one more bucket. Uh, yep, one, two, three. And let's make the bucket. And hopefully we won't need that. So let's just fill these buckets up and try that again. So, so basically the water stream is going to flow everything this way. So if I put this here, that brings the water to here. So then I would need to put three here. And then three here. I doing this right? And then, oh, I'm already out of water. Hold on. Oh, I can probably get it from here. Right? From right there. Yes, okay. And now I could put the water. Yep, there we go. Another one here. 
Oh, can I not do it like this? Oh, am I gonna have to do it like this, probably. Now break that. And one more. And now, this should continue as one stream. So let's give this a try. Hop over here, let go. And we are moving. There we go. So I don't believe, even though this is higher than I'd want it to be, uh, slimes can't jump in water. So I think the big slimes are just going to shoot right through. They're not going to jump up like that. So let me try this a little bit more, get some more uh, water canals going, and I will come back to you guys once I have all these water canals finished. Hopefully. Possibly. Okay. Okay. The water canals are done. Um, as you can see, wherever you go, there is a water canal that's going to be taking you to the front. Oh, this might be a problem here, isn't it? Uh, hmm. Hold on a sec. Okay, I fixed that spot over there. I actually recorded this already and realized that I wasn't recording. So, I fixed that spot over there. And as you can see, no matter where you go, you get pushed to the other side. And then on the other side, we have these two lava blades. And what these lava blades are here for is for when um, the big slimes come through. They hit those lava blades, turn into medium slimes. And then everybody channels into there, which is about two blocks down, which would be a drowning trap. Um, now, I'm not going to finish this today. I highly, highly doubt I'm going to have uh, time to start doing the redstone. And I don't even have the resources to do the redstone portion of it. Um, or the killing chamber, I guess, would be the better term. I don't know how much redstone it's really going to need, but... Um, so, I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. More than likely, I'm going to have another lava blade that comes out over here to kill the medium slimes. So, I'm only left with small slimes. And hopefully, um, that lava blade that kills the medium slimes will also kill some of the small slimes. I couldn't find a reliable way to kill small slimes with lava. So, I might have to just keep it as a drowning trap. Um, what I'm thinking is they'll fall into a pit of water with the um, items that already came from the... Uh, dropping of the uh, big ones and the medium ones and they all jump into a uh, some type of water pit and then when I click a button the water pit opens drops everything out of it and closes back up what I'm probably going to do here though is I see you see this is going down but I'm probably going to spiral it way up a little bit because I don't like it being so far down but I'll finish that later um, you haven't seen it because I screwed up my recording, but slimes are spawning here and they are going around. Um, I haven't seen any hit. Oh. See, that's weird. I'm not exactly sure what over here is on fire, uh, but let's do that just to be safe. Because in the next version of Minecraft, hard is going to have huge wildfires. So we have to make sure that doesn't happen down here. Even though I don't see anything around here that's flammable, but whatever. So... Um, they, I've already seen them come around here, and they do make it here. Large slimes get stuck here, but now, hopefully with these lava blades, that won't be an issue. And, I'm curious about something. What if I get rid of this? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that works. Yeah, that works. I wonder if the same thing would work here. Yeah, there we go. That works even better. I was noticing sometimes the slimes can fight the current and would wind up getting stuck here for a little bit, but this should definitely, definitely help that. Uh, I don't think that's going to work. Oh, it does. Okay, cool. Look at that. There you go. Let's see. Let me just make sure. And... Doop, doop. I'm a slime. Can't jump. And I'm dead. Perfect. Okay, so I am going to idle here for a little bit, see if I can get some slimes to spawn so I can test it, and then I will check the recording, see how long it is. I don't think we'll have time to go down there for me to explain what I'm going to do down there, but I'll see you back in a minute and I'll tell you for sure. Okay, so I wasn't able to get any of the slimes on film, but it does work. I made a couple changes. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see. Let's see. Uh, got my pick. Uh, so if you look, 
I have the two lava blades there. Any items that are running down this line will have no problem going under there. And any slimes that come through, large, medium, or small, should go right through that and uh, get killed by the lava. If for some reason a slime does get through and doesn't get killed by that lava, a little slime, because the big slimes definitely will get killed by it, um, there is a two deep water canal right down there that will drown them and let's show you that water canal and it's also the connection area collection area let's just get out of here which is not easy okay and now if you go down here level you have the collection area and look at that a couple slime balls so if you look right here let's just break this out any slimes that get stuck here will drown because of this water and it will shoot out any slime balls. So unfortunately, this really, this area right here isn't long enough, far enough away to be able to just idle here and collect slime balls. So um, this isn't going to be the final way of doing it. But this should be good enough for now. So I definitely don't have time to uh, start downstairs. So we can do that next episode. But for now, for the moment being at least... Uh, the slime farm is done. I'm not sure other than bringing the slimes back up into a back here is probably what I'm going to do. Is get them back here so I could just idle right here. Stand here and get all of the uh, drops as they come through. So that is the idea and we will work on that soon enough. But for now, this is good enough. I'm going to get slimes and that's all that matters. Uh, I don't have many, but well, I already have about another dozen a little bit more than a dozen that i've picked up already so thank you for joining me and we will see you next time on the random acts of crafting server goodbye